In today's video we're going to look at how you can change um, sprites of your G3 characters inside Cartoon Animator, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel, the channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation and if that is you, welcome, you are at the right place so make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. And just a quick disclaimer, I am currently busy creating my very own full feature film, it is a 3D animated film and if you would like to support this project, I created a Patreon account. So in the description box below, there's a link. Just click there, sign up. There's a few options. And um, your support will help fund this project. So there's a lot of expenses, voiceover, actors, etc. Um, but I will take you behind the scenes and you will see exactly how I create this film and you will actually learn firsthand. Um, you'll see how the film is made and I'll do interviews with people that I work with so that you guys can learn as well and hopefully inspire you to go and create your own uh, full feature film or project, short film, animation series, whatever. I hope that it will inspire you to go out and create your own content. Um, so in the description box below, it will be really appreciated if you'll support me in that way. Now today we are going to look at how you can replace um, sprites from a character with your own sprites. Now I got this question um, from WTF Horror and Sci-Fi and he asked, I'm requested a video that explains how you can replace mouths that come with a product with your own PNG mouse for talking characters. That would be way useful. Um, so that is what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm gonna. There's actually three ways that you can do it, or to replace mouth sprites, um, and this is for eyes, eyebrows, nose, ears, every or any um, body part. There's three methods. Okay, so um, the first one is if you just want to replace one body part or sprite, like for instance the mouth, with another sprite um, from another character okay so here I've got a G3 character it's just a plain simple character it is not a 360 head so if you want to replace this character's mouth with another character's mouth okay so let's do that so you click here on the composer mode and it will then take you here and then at layer manager you select the mouth and then what you do, Content Manager, you click there and you go to Head and you select Mouth and let's just select a G3 character's mouth. And now you've got Front, Side, now this is a side character so let's say we want to use um, this, this mouth here. We just drag it onto the character. And there it has um, replaced the mouth sprite, so we can then maybe just resize it and reposition it to where you want it. Um, there you go. And there you go. And if we double click, you will see all the different mouth sprites is now replaced with the new ones. Okay, so that is one way, or the yeah, you know, that is the first way that you can actually replace sprites um, by actually going and replace it with an existing character. Now, when you create your very own characters, you can also save these sprites. So you can actually then say you select the mouth, you can go to um, Content Manager, Head, Mouth. You just go then to Custom. You go again to mouth and you click the plus and you save that mouth with all the different sprites that you've created. It will then appear here and then in the future you can actually use that mouth sprite on other characters as well. So you can reuse um, a mouth that you've created with all the sprites in the past. You can create it once and you can reuse it for different characters in the future by saving it. So that is the first way that you can actually create 
your own mouth sprites. Okay, so the second way is by importing a PNG file. So this is I don't I'm not at my animation desk, so I'm just gonna draw with my mouse pad, which is gonna it's gonna look terrible, but I just want to give you guys the idea. So let's just create a mouth. So this is just a <laughs> lovely smile here. So nothing spectacular. Okay, I'm just gonna take that away and then you save this as a PNG file so let's just um, export PNG I'm gonna save it on my desktop and let's just say mouth or let's just say smile okay okay and you save it there you go okay so that you now you can basically draw your mouth sprites and then you go back to cartoon animator again you go layer manager mouth and you double click so that all the different mouth sprites shows and let's see if there's a just a small um let's make it just a normal one okay so what you do is you'll see there is a plus sign add new sprite so if you want to add a sprite that is not currently listed here um, you can click on add but let's say I want to replace this normal then I can just replace current sprite so I click there and now I can go and I can select my smile open it is too large so I just say yes and now it will replace that with the PNG file that I've created there you can see it so all I now need to do is I just need to replace or resize it um, I just have to let's just drag it down So I just have to resize it. I can place it there. And there you go. There is the sprite. So it can go from there to there. And that is how I basically replaced my um, the one sprite with my own drawing. Okay, so you can also see there it has replaced the image as well. Okay, so that is the second way that you can import PNG files and that is more the question that um, that was asked how you can replace it with PNG mouse sprites or images. That, that is basically how you can do it. Okay, and then the third one is you can actually take your character into your drawing software bike with a click of a button and then you draw all these different um, sprite images you can then just draw them so let's do that you then click on launch psd editor and you say head and body in one file and launch be converted to and now it will open up um, my drawing and here is the character so now all I need to do is I can just go to the mouth here it is you'll see there's my normal let's just take away all the other ones there's the one that I drew make sure we take out everything so now what I can do is I select that layer and now I can simply just draw so let's just okay undo let's just zoom in a little bit and let's just add something again I'm going to use my mouse pad so it's not going to work nicely but just so that you guys can get an idea so we just add that or what you can do is just simply clear that layer and just create a brand new one 
And once you're done with the normal one, you can go to small open and you clean clear it and now you can draw and once you save it I'm not gonna save it uh, but once you save your character it will update it inside cartoon animator and that is how you have then created your own unique mouth sprites for your character um, so that is the three ways that you can actually replace any sprite you can do it for eyes mouth nose um, any sprite that you want uh, so you can actually take existing characters and you can customize it the way you want um, or you can create your own characters with different hairstyles and you can just add new hair or add new mouth and just customize your own content um, so this is a great way to customize um, characters and um, so yeah it's the, the first one is you can actually um, use sprites um, from other characters the second one is you can import PNG files and the third one you can just export it to your um, drawing software make your changes save it and it will update it inside um, cartoon animator so guys that is it for this video let me know um, what I want to do in future videos is I want to once a month release a video where I answer all your questions um, so the questions will either be in one video I will answer all the questions um, if there's questions that that I feel needs a full video on its own then I will create a video but once a month I want to release a video where I answer all your questions that you may have so feel free in the comments below ask some questions and I will once a month like I've mentioned I will then go and answer all your questions and if I don't answer your question in a video then I will create a video um, to answer your question in detail so in the comments below let me know your questions and again just a quick reminder, feel free to go and support my Patreon um, to support my animation film. It is actually, there's 22 characters and I need to record the voiceover, um, voiceovers, so I need to pay the vo 22 voiceover actors. So it is going to be very expensive, but um, with your support I'll be able to do it and I will take you along the journey and show you how I create this film. There's already some videos available um, for all my patrons. Um, so I've already started. So there is content for you already there. So you can go check that out as well. So guys, from me, Eon, I will see you guys with, an, with a new video next week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next week. Um, God bless and happy animating.